Rub the sticks together, then build a tinder for it. Wait. When you figure it out. There you are. I was wondering when you'd return. Did all go well in Valenwood? Excellent. And by the way, I'm sorry about how I've been acting. You've done nothing but help the Order. I had no right to take my frustrations out on you. It isn't, but thank you all the same. Honestly, it was good to speak about my family again. The Sigic Code makes conversations like that difficult. Thank you. The Scryers are already clamoring about all the information coming back from the Sigic seals you placed. We'll locate the last four pieces of the staff soon. I know it. In the meantime, take this. I'm sure you will put it to good use. From what the Loremaster tells me, the Scryers are nearly halfway to locating the last four pieces of the staff. Placing another batch of Sigic seals should give them all the information they need. Are you ready for another trip to the continent? A new cluster of time distortions appeared in the swamps and fields north of Black Marsh, Shadowfen and Deshaun specifically. Take the auger, the seals, and this map of the region. <laughs> At this point, I'm sure you know what to do with them. It might be worth talking to the Loremaster. He would never admit it, but I think something is bothering him. Something about the staff fragments. Ah, Initiate. What a welcome diversion. I assume Joe Sarger told you that our scryers are well on their way to locating the last four fragments of the staff. We have you to thank. Now then, can I help you with something? Progress. To be perfectly honest, no, we have not. It was my intention to keep the various fragments separate from one another, to seal them away in discreet hidden vaults. The results have been less than satisfactory. Some force keeps drawing the fragments back together. Despite my best efforts, they resist any attempt to fully separate them. I have tried safes, vaults, warding cases, but every time, the fragments manage to reunite. Not yet, but I will say this. There is an intention to it. Of that, I am certain. Something in these fragments yearns for reunification. To what end? That remains a troubling mystery. But those questions will keep. You have work to do, Initiate.
You saved the Queen. Stars keep you safe, Traveler. Before I was a member of the Sigic Order, I was a simple shopkeeper's daughter. Marshes, glades, we free no need Then they came from the seas, folded steel in their hands. They burned down our homes and ravaged our lands. Akaviri brought nothing but bloodshed and lies. Our families were slain before our eyes. With three separate people, they shared a cruel joke, a choice between death or the yoke. But then our three people knew what must be done to end. Hmm. Rocks, water, more rocks. Wait! That's it! Breach nearby, mate! Uh, sorry, just got distracted by all the behemoth mine snails. It's too bad you can't see them. They're really cute. Sort of. Hmm! <laughs> 
There's a breach here somewhere. Plenty of elf ghosts, too. Ugh. They won't stop shrieking about... It's either dying or pieing. Pieing's a word, right? To pie? Hard thing to get upset about.
Over here. We need help to close these portals. It warms my heart to see the Sacred Skull back in its reliquary. Saint Veloth said someone would come to aid us. Magistrix Vox opened Daedric portals within these holy grounds. They're like wounds in the world. Now all sorts of vile creatures pour through and attack us. We tried to close the portals, but Vox was clever. She used dark magic to tie each portal to a Watcher. You have to kill the Watchers to close the portals. That's how many of us died. Please close them. Then find me by the central dais. Just take out those Watchers near the portals. If you don't kill them close to the portals they guard, another one of the creatures pops up to take its place. Blasted Vox. It warms my heart to see the Sacred Skull back in its reliquary. Thank you. Your efforts have lifted the morale of the priests and acolytes, giving us all hope. We are in your debt. Three bless you and thank you. Now we can see about restoring some order to this chaos.
Vox is defeated. Order is restored. You are a credit to your people. No, I think I'll stay. You probably don't want to get too close to that village. At the moment, I'm fishing. I was sent to Selfora to get help for Master Rastan, but it seems Selfora has problems of its own. If you're not doing anything, go to our trading post and speak to Tevini Hadran. She could really use your help. Master Rastan went to talk to the leaders of the Mabragash tribe and never came back. Tevini can tell you more if you're interested.
I miss Ebenhart. I wish I was home. Master Rastan Vendiel is missing. He went into the Mabragosh camp to make a trade deal. It seems he, uh, misread the mood of this tribe. Something went wrong. I wish we'd never come to the Vale of the Ghost Snake. Ashlanders, but even more isolated than most, worship some snake spirit. Rastan wants to trade for their unique snakeskin leather. They won't tell me anything right now, probably because I'm part of House Halalu. Maybe they will talk to you. I heard that the Farseer calls the shots, but Rastan dismissed the notion. He wants an exclusive deal for the beautiful leathers the Marbragosh make, and he may have overstepped. Rastan was speaking to Gulikan Heronot the last time I saw him. Who knows how these places get their names? Ithrini said she heard that the ghost snake was Sithis. Nonsense, if you ask me. All I know is that I saw big snakes near the swamps. They looked very real to me, not ghostly. Thank you for agreeing to look for Master Rastin. I'm sure he was going to talk to Gulakan Haranat. Perhaps he can tell you where Rastin's gotten to. I think the Farseer runs the tribe, but Rastin dismissed that idea. What can the Mabragash do for you, outsider? Outsiders have no place here. The House Lalu Highlands should pack up and go. The trader is in Farseer Bodani's hands now. That thought has also crossed my mind. You think like a wise woman. I like that. The trader insulted the Farseer and her anger has blinded her to such consequences. Talk to wise woman Iru Ahan. She may be able to help you. If you must. We don't make up stories just to frighten outsiders. This Vale is an ancient place, protected by an ancient entity. The Mabragash have served that entity for many generations. That ignorant outsider, let's just say that he mocked us and made the Farseer very angry. He will serve the Ghost Snake. The Farseer will make sure of that. We do not welcome outsiders, but we treat them with courtesy if they respect our ways. You are not one of the women from the Halalu outpost. What do you want? The merchant isn't your concern. His fate is in the hands of the Farseer and the Ghost Snake. Still, something disturbs the Vale. I thought it was the merchant, but now the signs and portents point to you. The signs and portents are all around us, influencing events. Can you not see them? If you want my advice, you should... Wait, what's that? Your presence has aroused the Serpent Bound! What madness is this, restless spirits? Why have you left the sanctity of the Coiled Path? Be calm, spirits. Trust in the wisdom of the Ghost Snake. I want to speak to the man in charge of this tribe, you crazy woman. Another outsider. But this one. I have seen this one in my visions. We must speak. I'm not sure if I should welcome you or curse you. This fool has pestered our hunters, importuned our wise women, and insulted me by demanding to speak to the man in charge of our tribe. I brook no challenges to my authority or disruptions to the Vale. I was going to take him to the Ghost Snake, but all that changed when you arrived. I have seen a vision of you upon the Coiled Path. You have a role to play in deciding the fate of this man and our Vale. There is something unusual about you. I sense it, and certainly the Ghost Snake knows of you. Talk to this man. Take his measure. Then speak to me when you're ready to face the trial of the Ghost Snake.
I'm a master trader from House Lalu. I'm welcome everywhere, but these people want to sacrifice me to some snake. How should I know? I'm an honest merchant. I just wanted to set up a little trade agreement with the tribe. They make some gold, we make some gold, everybody wins. Next thing I know, they tie me up and act like I committed some crime. I was soaking up the local flavor, if you know what I mean. These Mavrigash ladies are lovely, but my flirty made that witch Badani mad. Besides, they refuse to let me speak to the man in charge. Why are they being this way? Well, I, I did ask the Farseer to summon her boss and get me a glass of Shane, but I asked nicely and everything. Don't let them feed me to the snake. I didn't do anything wrong. I hope she listens to reason. She acts like she's in charge, but she wouldn't even listen to my proposal. Trade proposal, mind you, not a marriage proposal. Those snake hides would earn them plenty of gold. Plenty of gold for all of us. Of Back course, inside, of course. Switch. Care to join me? Oh, never mind. I'm going. And what do you think of that man? Yet he managed to offend and insult nearly everyone. My visions tell me that you will decide this man's fate, as well as the fate of my tribe. You will walk the Coiled Path and seek counsel with the Ghost Snake. Follow the Coiled Path to the Fang Spires. Collect exactly eight bog rats along the way to make a proper offering. Few ever reach the Spires. Serpent-bound ghosts will challenge you every step of the way. They already sense your presence. The vision I had was strong. Your choices determine the fate of Merchant and Mobrigosh alike. But you must speak to the Ghost Snake. The Coiled Path begins just outside the village, but know that the Serpent Bound will block your way. The Ghost Snake has a taste for bog rats. They make a proper offering. But only if you bring exactly eight of the plump creatures to the Fang Spires. Do not question the will of the Ghost Snake. Besides, that's exactly the number of rats that fit in the bag I gave you. More than that, I cannot say. The mystery of the sacred number is not for the ears of an outsider. The vision I had was strong. Your choices determine the fate of Merchant and Mobrigash alike. But you must speak to the Ghost Snake. The Coiled Path begins just outside the village, but know that the Serpent Bound will block your way.
Your offering pleases me. The warm blood was sent by those who honor and protect this veil. Most curious. Every path leads in two directions, into light and into darkness. Light and dark, good and evil, sunlight and shadow. Two sides to all things, little warm blood. S let me show you. Curious to see a creature like you. The warm blood is skillful and cunning. The Marbrigash must make their own choices. Connect with the world outside or remain isolated. It is never only light or shadow. As long as they honor my kin and I, they are free to do as they please. Some can stay isolated in the Vale, or some may choose the outside world. Two sides of the same path. The Merchant's presence has already changed the Vale. What happens next is inevitable. I am the Ghost Snake. I am both constant and ever-changing. One thing to you, another perhaps to the Marbrigash. Aid the Marbrigash as you will. The choice is yours to make. I can send you back to the Farseer. She waits for you at her tent. Good luck in your travels, warm blood. You 
walked the coiled path and survived? Has the ghost snake spoken? Ghost snake is wise, but inscrutable. I had hoped he would demand that we bring the merchant to him. It's no coincidence that you arrived at the same time as the merchant. You are bound up in this. You must help us decide. I crafted a snake totem representing the entwined fates of the Mabrigosh and the merchant. Get it from my tent. I will have the merchant brought here. A decision must be made. Our fate depends upon it. Now you must choose. If the Mabrigash are to remain isolated, place the totem in the fire. If we are to change our ways and trade with the Hlalu, give the totem to the merchant. He will remain in the veil, serving the ghost snake. I know only that it will change us. Whether for good or ill, only time will tell. I'm a respected House Lalu merchant. How dare they? Watch your step among the Mabrigash outsider. I knew a woman would successfully navigate the coiled path. I've spoken to some of the Marbragash wise women. They've been perfectly polite. A decision must be made. Our fate depends upon it. Now you must choose. If the Marbragash are to remain isolated, place the totem in the fire. If we are to change our ways and trade with the Hlalu, Give the totem to the merchant. I know only that it will change us. Whether seek guidance where you would. Speak to my people, the merchant, or even the merchant's assistant if you wish. But then you must choose. <laughs> I'm a respected House Lalu merchant. How dare they treat me this way? So they treat me like some sort of criminal? I've been nothing but respectful, and trade would help them. Of course I benefit, I'm a merchant. Trading is what I do. How about this? Propose a limited trade agreement on their terms, and I'll agree to keep other traders away from the Vale. Watch your step among the Mabrigash outsider. Bah! Rastan claims things won't change, but I don't trust him. If you ask me, the Hlalu are just one step above thieves. If it were up to me, Rastan would have quietly disappeared the first night he arrived here. But you're the one making the decision, not me. I knew a woman would successfully navigate the coiled path. At first, I just wanted the merchant to go away. But I've been thinking. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to deal with the outside world. No, many are set in their ways and fear change. But if we're cautious, we may benefit in the long run. I've spoken to some of the Marbragash wise women. They've been perfectly polite. 
I've been on the receiving end of Roston's vaunted charms a time or two. I'm not surprised he managed to offend every woman in the Vale. I wonder if the Farseer would consider another option. I don't wish Roston ill, but I have an idea. They let Roston live, as long as he promises never to speak of the Vale or return here. Then they sign a trade agreement with me. They deal with me, and I keep other Halalu traders away. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Everyone wins. Roston doesn't end up as snake food. I gain prestige among the Halalu, and Marbragash can limit the amount of influence the outside world places on the Vale. Our fate rests in your hands. By your next action, our fate will be sealed. If the Mabrigash are to grant access to the Vale, give the totem to the merchant. If we are to remain isolated, tending the Vale without outside interference, burn the totem in the fire. My vision was clear. Your actions will affect our future, perhaps in ways we cannot yet see. Tavini spoke with Iru Ahan and made that same suggestion. A sly ploy. Clever. I admire that. I would be willing to deal with a smart woman who respects and understands our ways. Roston will remain our guest while we finalize details with the female trader. We have ways to make sure he never speaks of us again. But have no fear. He will be released shortly. Pity. He would have served the Ghost Snake well. Thank <laughs> you. 